So for air signs, we get discovering truth. You stand in the light of the truth. And then the bottom of the deck is rejuvenating rain, clear the past to heal the present. Always good advice. Um, so be by some water would be really good. Um, we think maybe you're going to um, maybe see things differently. Um, and we feel like you're going to let something go. We feel like you're going to get a new perspective on it. We feel like maybe by, by some other people, like this person, there's other people there, but this person's kind of mind in their own. But we feel like maybe you're going to overhear, like she's like, you're going to overhear a truth um, that's going to maybe help really clear some past energy for you. Uh, maybe something that you didn't understand, what, you know, a long, maybe a while ago, like. Like in the past with somebody else, you're going to overhear something and um, and then you get the heart-to-heart -heart conversation, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And then the bottom of the deck is pay attention to the red flags, which that I feel like maybe you're going to find, maybe that's the truth you're going to discover. Um, about something that you had thought and then. You had an inclination, then it was kind of soothed over maybe, but you're going to find out that you were actually right about it through overhearing somebody else randomly talk about something. Um, that's a specific message for some, for some air sign. So um, air sign, um, be aware of, um, not beware, but be aware of other conversations that are happening around you. Um, sometimes we pick up on things unknowingly. Um, and sometimes the universe puts you in the right place at the right time to hear a certain little message. So, um, you know, like if you happen to click on and we're talking about your sign and that's like, oh, hold on. So it's like the universe puts everything there for a reason. So, um, I, I feel like you're going to find out a truth um, and then maybe have that conversation with somebody um, or maybe have it hear a truth and then have that conversation. So, um, or she says, even for more collective energy as, as, as you, you know, have that heart to heart conversation and you know what, you can have that heart to heart conversation with that person in the 5D. You can ask your higher self to talk to their higher self. And, you know, or you can, you know, reach out. Um, um, we're going to get a couple cards and see. Um, it just says you're going to overhear something that you're going to want to talk about. But I do see something about the red flags. But it, so it's something you're going to have to have to maybe talk about. Maybe something that you had suspicion about that somebody kind of eased, eased your thought about it. But maybe, um, you know. Maybe you were right. Um, I used to have this little thing where I would know, I would know somebody was going to lie to me. Um, and I would always try to be the person to always give the benefit of the doubt. And when I would do that, and then it would come back and that situation would be like, and I was like, I knew, you know, I knew, um, so eventually now like my, like meters going off now when it's like. So something like that, you you had a little red flag about something and then now you're going to find out you were right, um, either by overhearing it or actually by, or even by talking to somebody, but for somebody specific, they're going to overhear that message. Um, so, so the cards for the past are the four of pentacles and the fool which can be like somebody being very carefree and reckless um, and and not really being committed at all, kind of holding their energy back from you. Um, and, you know, kind of, you know, sometimes when you meet somebody brand new, they can really put a face on to who they are. But that doesn't actually mean that's who they really are. That's just who they're, 
they're, the face they're putting on to you. So just maybe that was that in the past. And maybe you had a little, you know, maybe this person's, you know, not as good as they appear to be. Um, so maybe you had that feeling. And the current energy is the strength card and the ten of wands or the king of wands. Not sure why I felt the ten of wands with him. I feel like maybe a burden is going to really be lifted when you find out this truth. I, I feel like it's really, um, maybe they have a toxic trade or a toxic habit. Um, or they're just afraid to maybe tell you really something about who they are. And I feel like you're going to be really understanding because like this side of the cards, that's why she said I felt the Ten of Wands. Because looking at that chair, like that's a heavy burden. And like we feel like you're going to be taming that beast. So we feel like that is the current energy that, that with that honesty, you're going to be much more caring um, and open-minded would be would would benefit you greatly to be a little to be a little bit understanding everybody has a different path everybody has a different struggle um so and the outcome cards are the nine of cups and the five of wands which you know that five of wands is you know that looks a little a little um fiery so sometimes with that it doesn't always you know She's like, sometimes it's about more about the things. So if there's a little fiery um, discussion, um, ask your higher self to step in and ask your ego to step aside. Because in this card, I feel like she's coming from that higher place. So if, if you hear something from somebody, air signs, if you hear something from somebody and it takes you by surprise or it's not who you really thought that person was, come from a higher place say i ask my ego to step aside i ask my higher self to have this conversation and really come at it from that place and it won't be such an explosive um conversation it can turn into something very um maybe very passionate you know how sometimes you can have a conversation and it can start out one way and then it can turn very quickly you know um from an argument to a passionate situation so just know that you have that ability because there's the sun on the bottom of, of the deck there um, for you air signs. And then she said, we're also going to get one of the Rider Waite um, cards. It seems that's the, what she's wanted to use tonight. So we are um, doing that. And the double sun. Um, and, and you get the page of pentacles, which is that messenger. So that looks super good for you air signs. Um, be open to the message that's coming. Even if it's something that's small, be open because truly in the end, it's really going to lead you to like happy, happy. Like she's like, that's the happiest card in the deck and you're getting it back to back air sign. So know that your happiness is coming. Um, she's like, it's right there in at your, at your fingertips. So try to be a little more sensitive, a little more, a little more really like of that nurturing energy, you know, sometimes, you know, people have a big struggle and sometimes they're afraid to tell you who, you know, of something that's happened or gone on. But we want you to really see is like take that higher perspective and see where, where it's going to go. See where it's going to go. Be really, you know, open minded. Because she's like the sun twice, you know, you can't beat that. Um. She said not even with a stick, so...